Today we're making the best pumpkin pasta recipe and we're gonna do it all in just one pot. As you might know, I love coming up with fun and creative vegan recipes to share with you guys, but there is one part of this that I truly hate, and that is washing dishes. And I assume some of you feel the same way. That's why I'm super excited to share this epic one pot vegan pumpkin alfredo pasta with you. It requires just one pot, and it's going to impress both your guests and your taste buds the ultimate creamy fall comfort food, so let's get started. We're gonna start this recipe off with a basic Alfredo sauce as the base, and my basic Alfredo sauce has five ingredients, olive oil, garlic, onions, flour, and light coconut milk. But this isn't just a basic Alfredo sauce, we're going to make it a pumpkin Alfredo sauce and jazz it up with a few extra ingredients. First, obviously, we've got pumpkin, canned pumpkin, but if you can't find canned pumpkin where you live, I've heard it's not as common outside the US, you can always take a whole pumpkin or a butternut squash, roast it until it's tender, scoop out the flesh, and then puree it in a food processor or use a potato masher. We're also going to add a trio of herbs to our pumpkin alfredo. We've got thyme, sage, and rosemary, and they just smell like fall. It's going to highlight those pumpkin flavors, really just make this taste like a party in your mouth, but like a fall-inspired party in your mouth. First, we have the sage, and I'm using five large leaves. You're gonna stack them up, roll them up together, and slice them through. For the time, the easiest way to get the leaves off the stem is to push down on the leaves and they'll just come right off. You need about one tablespoon of thyme leaves. I do try to use fresh herbs in my recipes as much as possible because they are more flavorful and more potent than dried herbs. And finally, for the rosemary, I've got two small sprigs. Just strip off the leaves. You don't want any of those tough woody stems. I do recommend using a non-stick pan like this or something similar. I have tried making this in my big Dutch oven, but you have to use much more oil to prevent things from sticking, and it still kind of does get stuck, so really recommend using a non-stick skillet. The Alfredo sauce starts with sort of a roux, and a traditional roux involves heating up a fat source like olive oil or butter, and then adding an equal amount of flour and mixing it together until it kind of forms a paste. And then to finish your sauce, you pour in some liquid like milk or cream or broth. And to add extra flavor to our roux, which forms the base of the Alfredo, I'm going to saute some onions, garlic, and fresh herbs in the fat source, in the olive oil, before adding the flour and the coconut milk. You wanna stir the flour constantly for a minute and then pour the liquid in a steady, slow stream to prevent clumping and continue to whisk until the sauce is thickened about one to two minutes. And for our liquid, instead of dairy milk or cream, we'll be using light coconut milk from a can. And the reason I prefer this liquid for my Alfredo sauce is that it's thicker than, say, almond milk, so you get a sauce that's really luscious and creamy and rich, but it's not as thick as full-fat coconut milk so it won't clump up and it won't get too thick. The basic Alfredo sauce is done, so it's time to add the pumpkin, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. Because we are cooking our pasta directly in the pot with the sauce, I do want the sauce to be as uniform in texture as possible and to not be clumpy, so we're gonna run an immersion blender directly in the pot. You don't have to transfer the sauce until it's smooth and rich, and then we'll add our vegetable broth and our pasta. Once we've got our sauce blended up, it's time to add the liquid to cook the pasta. I'm using low sodium vegetable broth. We'll also add some miso paste for those deep umami notes, as well as some nutritional yeast for that really nice cheesy flavor. Since Alfredo sauce is traditionally served with fettuccine, that is what we are using today. But if you wanna keep things really simple, I actually recommend using a shorter pasta for two reasons. First, you do have to break up the fettuccine noodles before you put them in the pot. It's a little extra step if you wanna avoid that. And second, the longer the pasta strands, the more likely they are to stick together in the pot. You do have to stir the pot fairly frequently to make sure the pasta cooks evenly, and it's just a little bit easier to do that stirring if you have a shorter pasta. Once you've added all the ingredients to the pan, bring the pasta mixture to a boil, and then lower the heat to maintain a rapid simmer. Make sure to stir frequently and toss the noodles around with some tongs or a pasta cloth to ensure they don't stick together. The pasta should be cooked in about 20 minutes. I like to finish this vegan pumpkin alfredo with chopped parsley and vegan parmesan cheese. If you can't find vegan parmesan where you live, you can always make my four ingredient cashew parmesan sprinkle. You can find the recipe down below. And if this recipe has you hungry for comfort food, I've got a lot more fall-inspired comfort food coming your way.